All right, we're back with another unboxing of the Your Toy Box. Uh, Your Toy Box is a, a monthly subscription service that uh, delivers toys uh, every month. You can go on their website and you can uh, you can kind of customize like things you're interested in, and they just pack it full of things that uh, that you select basically. Okay. Free bowl wrap here. Put that off to the side. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, so we got all kinds. Of, oh yeah. Obviously, a Ninja Turtle of some sort is always awesome. Uh, let's get him out of the package in here. It's Mikey. Just a Michelangelo figure. Okay. Um, I'm not real sure what this thing on his back is. It says uh, City Sewer. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see the uh, cameras uh, trying to focus a little bit, but it's uh, yeah, yeah, city yeah. sewer. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm not real sure what type of variant this is. We've had a lot of different of these when we were younger, but I don't really remember this. Like nothing about this like instantly sparks my memory on it. So I'm not real sure if we ever had these. Well, let me take a look at that. All right. There's a. Uh, there's a little latch here. I wonder if it's those guys where you can open up the back and store stuff in his shell. Oh, maybe. It looks a little bit like that. Yeah, it might be that. I don't know. In any case, Ninja Turtle is always awesome. Oh. What we got here is another Star Trek figure. Oh, sweet Star Trek. Yeah, so obviously I selected Ninja Turtles and Star Trek and, you know, all that good stuff. This is a pretty neat little uh, Captain Kirk. Is it Captain Kirk? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Captain Kirk. It doesn't look like Captain Kirk exactly, <laughs> but it looks like. I mean, you know, it's like and that, that's probably it's definitely an old style uh, shirt though, because like the turtle. Oh yeah, yeah. Check his feet. Is that a Playmates guy? I think most of the Star Trek guys were Playmates. This says, uh, yes, yeah, it's Playmates, 1996. Oh, that's that's uh, kind of an older guy. That's kind of neat. Alright. That looks like a Transformer there. Uh, they both look like Transformers. This one is a Transformers figurine. Right. Let's see who it is. No. Uh, Most of the time they put the uh, figures in these little Ziploc bags. So, I guess you get free Ziploc bags too. Yeah. Well, sealed uh, so bags. This anyways. is an Autobot of some sort. Uh, it looks like he's all there. Yeah, he does. He's got his uh, arm blasters. I, I hate transforming these things. It's always terrible. It uh, takes a while. Uh, is that his feet? Are his feet yeah, just those are gigantic? Feet. Yeah. He's got some clod hoppers. I'm not real sure what's, it, what's with these. Like, uh. This is like, this is, okay, it's, okay, I think his knees are right there. Okay, that goes there. And that goes there. There we go. Nice, nice front and forward, I guess. These things don't seem to, like, I don't know, maybe his knees bend backwards and he's supposed to be like this. That would make, it would work. Like this, it doesn't quite work. I don't know. We'll have to figure out how he transforms. I don't know who this is either. His face looks remarkably similar to Optimus Prime's. Oh. Uh, not... I'm uh, not. Uh, yeah, I don't remember all the Transformers names. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, but, I, uh, I was. I, I like Transformers, but I'm. I don't know why. I just don't know everything about them. Yeah. Oh, uh, got a Genesis game in there. Yeah, let's get to that after this here, though. I'm interested in this other Transformers looking thing. It's War Machine. Oh, okay. This is like a Marvel Transformer toy. Okay. Yeah, they do that. They do that every once in a while. Yeah, I, I remember. I think I remember. This specific line at one point. This is, you know, they they transform really well into their 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 vehicle forms, but then when you transform them into uh, their Marvel forms, they don't look quite right. Yeah, they look like a they look like uh, this is war. It says War Machine, so yeah, you know, that's uh, basically Iron Man's sidekick. Yeah, because like there's his hand. Right, but it's also an entire jet's wing. <laughs> yeah, so, so they always look kind of weird. But uh, they're I they're always kind of cool to play around with, though. I mean, if we leave them transformed, you got yourself a Warhammer jet. 
Oh, yeah. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. All right, put that right there. Oh, let's deal with this here. Uh, greatest heavyweights on Sega Genesis. We know this game very well. This uh, is probably, in my opinion, the best boxing game ever made. Yeah, it, it probably is. You, you create your own boxer, and you could go through, like, a... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, a career mode. And after you beat uh, all the... the uh, computer guys, you go on to fight the greatest heavyweights, and you fight uh, Rocky Marciano, uh, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali uh, Joe Frazier, and the, I think the last one is Evander Holyfield, because at this point I think Evander Holyfield was the number one in the world. Uh, the great thing about, the cool thing about that game is like in between fights, you, uh, you do train the, yourself. You do training, and it does permanent yeah. uh, increases on your character, and then uh, you... Uh, if you lose too many times, uh, you, you're forced to retire. So it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of cool because it's like you know you can't play that guy anymore. You got to start over. So this is a Galactic Heroes Luke Skywalker. I don't know what Galactic Heroes is. I, it seems familiar. It's like, I think it was like the Skylander like thing, but before they did like video games. But no, probably not the same yeah. company. But you know what I mean. It's like a, right. Okay. Maybe yeah. I vaguely remember this this looking guy. He might have also been something like almost like a. Uh, Almost like a play school guy or something like that. Something like that. He looks, uh, his face looks like a Crank Yankers puppet. Oh, he does, yeah. That's pretty awesome. But, uh, uh he's a nice contrast to our, uh... Our Darth Vader from a previous video. Which is pretty intense looking. Alright, so... We got so two other things in here. We got, uh... M&M's pencils. And it's, uh, it's kind of interesting, because, uh, I remember we used to have, like... I think we had an M&M's, like, uh, piggy bank... Yeah. Once, uh, you know, the M&M's brand stuff is really, you know, kind of, it's not, I wouldn't say completely nostalgic right now, especially since it's actually, that's the green M&M, which is a little more recent. Yeah. Uh, because they still use these guys all the time. Yeah, you can't really necessarily say you have nostalgia for them when they're still in existence and haven't really changed. These two haven't changed at all. Uh, Blue used to be like that saxophone type guy, and they don't have him have that. After Green became a character, Blue dropped that persona, and I kind of miss the old Blue, but that's about it. Uh, other than that, um, I do a lot of drawing, so pencils are always welcome. Yeah, we're actually probably actually going to open these and use these at some point. I mean, that's, you know, solid number two pencils. Now, this thing I've been looking at here... It says Micro Legends. It's a Transformer thing of some sort, but it's like sealed. Uh, should we cut it open? Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, figure out what this is. One second here. Get this here nice out. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they they pretty much guarantee uh, seven to ten items. Right, and I don't know how we have here. No, well, there's seven to ten items here. Looks like it count. Uh, Six over there, and then there's the pencils and this thing, so that's, uh, eight. I think that's what we've been averaging this whole time. Okay, I think I got the pipe, all well, the plastic off. Let's see if we can... Oh, Ooh, okay. Okay. Hello. Is he like a little gel guy, or what's that? He's not made of gel. It's some sort of resin. He's actually pretty solid. Well, he, you know, he moves, but he's not, like, jelly. I don't know who this is. It's really hard to get focus on him because it's kind of a clear plastic. Yeah, it's very small too. Um, I have no clue what this is. It's like a mystery mini little thing or something. Yeah, I guess it's a mystery mini. Before I think mystery mini became a thing. You know, now they're they're big, but I don't know how old. You know, this is last year. That's interesting. I don't know anything about this. Hmm. Oh, it's a nice little. Uh... Little uh, decoy figure. Yeah. Put it back in his little case there. Uh, and, uh, one of my favorite parts about your toy box, and we've been doing it as we get them, and we find little guys, and we're not sure what they are, like uh, who, which Mikey this is, or what Gal Galactic Heroes is, you know, yeah. or which Transformer that is. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try to transform them back while you're finishing here. Just thought. And we also don't know, you know, what this little capsule is, or who the character is. N not as you first see them, you know, uh, for the most part. And so a great deal of fun from all of this is 
uh, looking uh, looking that up, you know, getting little bits of history behind all the things. And uh, I like, for instance, I didn't know that these little guys, little transformer guys, were called decoys. Uh, I didn't know that about the toy, almost like culture, until we started subscribing to this box because we would look we would look up the little guys inside the boxes, and you just kind of get curious and and, and and add to like the you learn about the history of all the different toys. So um, that is a great that's a really cool aspect of it. That's, that's my favorite part. You know, looking forward uh, to the next box is learning more and finding new and interesting toys that I've never seen before. Yeah. Well, I think I am not going to get this put together anytime soon. And I see <laughs> just as good a reason not to. Just go ahead and end the video there. Well, let's see what you got so far. I don't know. I got, I got the top looks right. You know, it's like getting one side on a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> yeah. It's like, this is it's like, like, yeah, sure, that looks good. Uh, it looks like the Michael Bay Transformers now. It does. All right, well, uh, we will see you uh, in the next video. Yep.